Hi everybody, this is a video uh, contest entry for Rachel the Music Ma'am, uh, her contest for its only lyrics. She suggested we pick five songs whose lyrics affected us one way or another. And uh, for the first of my five songs, I'm going to pick a song by Ryan Adams when he was with Whiskey Top. And this song is called Houses on the Hill. He was only 25 when he wrote this. He says, well, I found a bunch of letters that were written for the fellow who broke your mama's heart. And the envelope fold smelled of her ancient perfume. I'll bet she didn't know how to respond to 40 blankets of snow. Caught him out wandering alone with no place to go. Eisenhower sent him to war. He kept her picture in his pocket that was closest to his heart. And when he hit the shore, it must have been a target for the gunner man. There were stars in the sky. There were bunkers on the hill. And there were caskets to fill. Where he would lie, shrouded in the red, white, and blue. This is a beautiful song. It's uh, so pretty emotional. But... Um, this is an outstanding album. I really, really recommend it. If you're not familiar with it, you check it out. The next song uh, unfortunately <laughs> this song had to be written May 4th, 1970, Kent State University Students were protesting the Vietnam War and the uh, expansion into Cambodia. Uh, they were protesting Nixon. And uh, there was about 300 students out there. They were mostly watching from the sidelines uh, between classes when 28 National Guard soldiers fired 67 rounds for 13 seconds into the crowd killing four students, wounding nine others, paralyzing one. Neil Young saw the pictures of this. You know, this was before the internet. It took time for the news to spread, not like it does now. He saw the pictures of the uh, National Guard firing on the students in uh, Look Magazine, I believe it was. Went into the studio with the rest of the band and two or three live takes, they recorded this song, Ohio. So, Tin Soldiers and Nixon coming, we're finally on our own. This summer I hear the drumming, four dead in Ohio. Got to get down to it, the soldiers are cutting this down. It should have been done long ago. What if you knew her? found her dead on the ground how can you run when you know and then of course the b-side just as good find the cost of freedom buried in the ground mother earth will swallow you lay your body down pretty turbulent time in the early 70s late 60s and uh, moving from that we're gonna go to 1968 <clears throat> 1968, we lost Bobby Kennedy, we lost Martin Luther King. Tom Clay did a version of the song, What the World Needs Now, but cut into the song, he used bits of news footage, audio footage of uh, the Kennedy assassination, uh, Martin Luther King, his assassination pretty graphic. I remember in uh, the late 90s I had a used record store and I was playing this song in the store and the woman came in and she shopped for a little bit and then she came up to me and she said can you please turn that off it's, it's very disturbing and she was almost in tears and it is a very moving moving bit of it's not really I guess just music but um, Go to your streaming services or YouTube and check out Tom Clay, What the World Needs Now. 
And then another song that, for some reason, really, really seemed to connect with me was Alone Again Naturally. I pretty much grew up, uh, even though I have two brothers, they were quite a bit older than me, 15 years older or so. I pretty much grew up on my own, and my friend was the radio, the transistor radio. And I used to listen to music all the time, constantly. I was just hooked on music when, after I saw the Beatles and Ed Sullivan. And this song just really, really spoke to me. And uh, again, this is another really good, solid album. There's a lot of, a lot of good songs on here. So uh, check it out if you haven't heard the whole thing. For the last song, I'm going to talk about uh, one of my favorite artists. A lot of you have probably never heard of him, but uh, I suggest you check him out. A lot of it, he's got a lot of live videos on YouTube. He's got uh, a whole number of albums over the years, and that man is Ed Hamill, who goes by the name of Hamill on Trial. Um, I, I, there's no way to describe Ed. Uh, he's it's one man and one guitar, and like he said. In the song, oh, it must be folk. Oh, how wrong you are. He plays that guitar like it's a machine gun. But anyways, he did a song called Hail. It's a song about hate crimes. It's a song about Brandon Tina, who was brutally murdered for being a trans man. Brian Denneke, who was a punk rocker, had spiked hair, had you know rings in his nose spiked black leather jacket uh, a couple of people didn't like the way he looked so they ran him over with his truck and killed him and then Matthew Wayne Shepard a student at the University of Wyoming who was beaten tortured and left to die simply because he was a gay man so some of the lyrics are Brandon Tina and Brian Denneke met for coffee in heaven last week he said, I like mine black. He said, do you ever want to go back? He said, no, we can be who we want to be. He said, no, here we can be who we want to be. Matthew Shepard dropped by for dessert and they asked Matthew, does it still hurt? He paused and he spit over the rail and it flew down to earth just like hail. He said, no. We can be who we want to be. Brutally honest song. That's the way Hamill on Trial is. So those are my five songs. And uh, I put some links below if you want to check them out and give them a listen. And uh, thanks for checking out this video. And um, I'll be doing another one shortly. Thanks.